Norton, Kansas, inside a nearly sold out Bramlage Coliseum on a beautiful Friday afternoon where the host, the number four seed Kansas State, will face the number 13 seed, the West Coast Conference Tournament champ, Portland Pilots. And we're ready to go as Kansas State in their white jerseys go right inside to Aoka Lee. For Kansas State, Jalen Glenn and Briley Glenn, the twin sisters, along with Serena Sundell, they've been starting three years in a row together. Aoka Lee inside. Portland out of the West Coast Conference go inside the Cochran. So West Virginia in the quarterfinals of the Big 12 Championship and lost to Texas, the eventual champions in the semifinals. And Sundell with a three-pointer. That's four team fouls in the quarter for the Pilots. Over the top to Sundell. Sundell nice. pushing it in. And it's been all Serena Sundell here in the early going for Kansas State. You're denying, they just threw it long and Sundell just attacked the basket. Had a little spin move and an and one play. Abby Gregory puts the ball on the floor, ducks nice. underneath for her first basket of the game. Cochran's block shot again. Yeah, just closes in, not even close with the body, and just times it really, really well. That's so, Holly Warlick and I were well, here to witness it. It was phenomenal. It just, she made it look easy. I, <laughs> and how about that for a pass? The freshman, Taryn Sides, throws it inside to Sanchez. Yeah, and just a great save and came just off the screen to from Lee and easy inside. This is a team in Portland that forces almost 20 turnovers per, per game. Nice backdoor nice. pass to set up Emmy Shearer. Really great crowd participation thing when they get three stops in a row. Everybody's cheering, everybody's holding their goats as Portland. That's not a stop there. That's an ag school. Well, sure. It. I, I just love it because you, you don't generally think of K-State as a defensive team. You think of what they just did. Go inside to Jalen Glenn, to Sundell, looking for Moppin. Got it. Great ball move for Natalie Fraley. Good look. And Good steal from Burnham, anticipating. Cuts between a couple of defenders and gets the layup. Respect and admiration for Lisa Mattingly. Great official and has done a great job in coordinating. And a great pass there to set up Meek. A nice backdoor cut from Mikkel Meek. He's got three so far. Sundell looking over to Walker. Gabby Gregory with a nice cut in the score. Back at the passing. Yeah, just ball to side, ball came from one side, great cut in the middle. The lane is wide open. You've got three-point shooters cut in the lane. It's okay to get a two. Just makes the defense scramble. Nice cut. Nice backdoor cut and basket by Ananiev. Now, Iowa turned around and beat them on a neutral court, but just something to keep in mind in this regional. Keep it in mind. Lee misses that shot, but eight different players have scored for Kansas State. Nice. Good cut by Ananiev, the freshman. Hamilton decides yeah. to fire it up and hits a three. On a 14 to six run, and that has allowed them to close the gap to 12. And what does Kansas State do out of the halftime locker room? They so already a couple of players in foul trouble with em Emmy Shearer with the three fouls. There's another foul picked up this time by Briley Glenn. That's her second. It's all about turnovers for Portland. And, and wow. Nice, easy nice pass inside to Burnham. They're, just, they're pulling Lee away from the basket. Burnham sneaks away inside, and it's a single-digit game. Aoka Lee, triple-teamed, out to Gregory, got it. Each team to the free-throw line. 
Gabby Gregory, a little up and under. No. Lee gets the rebound and drops it in the backboard. But we appreciate that Stanford would play as it helps make us better. Yeah, I'd be a little nervous taking my team out to Portland to play on his home court. Walker goes into Lee, who has camped out in the lane. Cleared herself yeah. a little space. Yeah, that. You see Aoka Lee, just big. She says, does her work before she gets there and really stays under control. Just, just a little turnaround move, gets bumped a little bit. Double overtime against Iowa State. Had to take off the next game. But she's been back the last six games, but sometimes those extra rests are important for Lee. Meek from three. After the first quarter, they led by as many as 20, but Portland has made it tough on them. Good passing through the press this time for K-State. Aoka Lee isn't on the court right now. She scored 11 of the 17 points for Kansas State in the third quarter. Shearer back on the court with the four fouls for Portland. Burnham with the nice drive to the basket. Neither Cochran nor Dickey have scored since the first quarter. As they go inside, the Burnham is having some good fortune. She scored, I believe, the last six points for Portland. Who else? Six points in a row for the Pilots as she continues to get things done in the paint. And Colorado spreads the floor. Really, everybody gets involved. So it's going to be a really fun game. Dickey got that one. Big shot for Portland. Smart, smart decision. K-State trying to use a little bit of the, the, the clock. Gregory faces up, splashes it home. And it's just how Portland has stayed in this game. Inbounds play and, and one opportunity. That turns out to be a great timeout for Portland and will have an and one opportunity. It's just a lot of cuts and, and it's confusion. And I tell you, if you're a, it's really key for the Wildcats. Keep your dribble, don't pick up the ball. Kick out, Gregory gets it from Lee. And Lee points at Gregory with a big smile. We'll advance and play the winner of Colorado and Drake. Coming up next, two seconds on the shot clock. Walker right at the shot clock buzzer. Love it. Just content to hold on to the ball as long as they can. And Flash in another three-pointer from Serena Sundell. The Kansas State. Hold on, hold on. There was a whistle before time expired. The officials coming together. They might, but they're wow. gonna say no, game over.